Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Epirus and today we are playing Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Now, first things first, I've installed the uh, Walking with Dinosaurs mod, which, which is a uh, documentary way back in the day. I loved that show. So here it is. I've installed the mod. I am so excited to play this. Let's do this. Enough chit chat. Let's jump right in. Interesting, so there's a new uh, loading screen. Wow. There she goes. Hello, my name is John Hammond, and I am in charge of InGen, the company that you now work for. Your job is quite simple, really. Build a pack, create dinosaurs, and entertain people. Of course, we'll be keeping an eye on you as well. We'll watch your pack rating and give you feedback on your performance. But in the end, the success or failure of Jurassic Park, it's all up to you. Okay, so a little background about this game. So your main objective is to create your own Jurassic Park, just as uh, John Hammond have said. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. So here we are. Let's customize our own island. We want it to be in the uh, biggest shape that it could possibly be. That seems good. Okay, trees. Yep, that's just the right amount that I need. Mountains. That's also good. So I think I'm good with this one. Let's start. So here we are, we're officially in the game. So if you've noticed, the icons are a bit brighter. That's because I've installed um, an ENB mod which is included with the DJE mod. If you don't know, the DJE mod is also another mod for this game. You can check it out. You could just uh, search it online. So where do I start? <coughs> so I usually start here at the bottom. Wait a second, who's this? I have no idea who that is. Let's check the weather. Sunny, all sunny, that's good. It's good to know you're keeping an eye on things. We start here. We we'll build our park entrance. That's good. Seems about right. Then where do we put our first enclosure hmm. I'd like to have a pattern okay that's good enough yeah. I think that's big enough for uh, our very first dinosaur, which I really don't know yet. So what's our first dinosaur? Oh, I do not know how to pronounce that. Leolinosaur? Leolinosaur. I hope I'm right pronouncing the name. Metaborosaurus. Yeah, I know. I'm quite familiar with that uh, dinosaur, so we don't have any carnivores yet. Is this Chris Pratt? Uh, yeah, I think it is him. So we make sure. three of these babies. Let's check our messages. I have bred my first dinosaur. <coughs> These dinosaurs move towards the pole every year to strip the lush vegetation and find secure sites to lay their eggs. The herds have a major impact on the forest. Each massive adult weighs about three tons and can pluck food from branches several meters off the ground. While feeding, the dinosaurs keep in touch using their specially adapted noses to produce a range of trumpeting calls. 
Wow, that was very interesting. Wow, I did not know the mod can do that. Usually, if you install a mod, they're just uh, there's just a voice, the default voice for the game that uh, pronounces the default dinosaurs. You know, you know what I mean. But here, it's like they ripped off an audio from the uh, documentary itself. Benjamin Lockwood. Okay, let's go to our dig team. Death of a Dynasty B. I think these are names of the episodes of the uh, documentary. Uh, yeah, it is. So we have Spirits of the Ice Forest. Very interesting. The dig site's names are also changed too. We go to the plains first. We buy a team. Oh yeah, yeah, we need to open the park first. Forgot. It's been a long time since I've played this. Okay, let's build another enclosure. <clears throat> Wait a second, I want to center my entrance. I want a nice layout for my park. I just don't want to build, build, and build. I want to follow a certain layout, which is right here. Yep, hopefully that's centered correctly. And again, it's not. Well, it's, uh, that's okay. Welcome back. Hmm. Oh man, we're gonna have to flatten the mountain a little bit in order to build a hatchery. Okay, that seems okay now. Yep. That looks weird. I don't like it. You gotta flatten this out first. How can I help? Lail in a Sora. Right. Let's make three of them too. Oh yeah, the our research team forgot about them. The Elanosaur is a dinosaur that has adapted to this extreme climate. They are just two meters long, and their most distinctive feature is their large eyes, which help them find food in the dark winter. These dinosaurs are sociable little animals that live in small clans, enabling them to make the most of scarce resources. The clan is dominated by one breeding pair, and the hierarchy ensures that a Lielanosaur is always on lookout duty. He regularly issues reassuring clicks, as long as the coast is clear. Wow. Man, it's not centered. <laughs> huh. I'm wasting a lot of money. Okay, here it is. Alright, that did it. Now for some attractions. Viewing platforms. A small hill is in the way. Now have to flatten it again. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome back. Build another one, and maybe another one. Two pairs, then we connect them all together. Okay, that looks good. That's that's nice. Put some trash cans so our park will be tidy as always. You know what? Let's open the park. I'm gonna charge for about 150 bucks for this. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to declare the newest wonder of the modern world, Jurassic Park. Now open. Alright, we're officially in business. 
and I'm running out of money. That's why I decided to open it. <laughs> we build. Oh, we need some amenities. Of course, the kiosk. Our visitors will get hungry without these. And obviously, a comfort room, which I will charge two dollars. Okay, let's provide a Rex burger and fun fries. We price that sixteen bucks, so we make a one buck profit. Thanks for stopping by. Fourteen bucks for this. Okay, let's put it on playpen since it has the highest percentage, and that means uh, it can attract more uh, visitors. See, you gotta check the percentages. That's how you attract visitors to that uh, certain attraction. Wonder Window. How are you today? Hmm. They're lacking a, a few trees. I'm sorry that you can't afford that. Oh man, trees are so damn expensive. Welcome. My gosh, look at those prices. Dwarf Allosaurus? What the hell is that? What's a Borosaurus? Lealinosaurus. Quite a tongue twister right there. Good to see you. Yes. We extract this one. What are we lacking? Oh, I like the music too. Yep, yeah, I know there's a lot of waiting on this game since it's all about strategizing. Oh yeah, I forgot again. We need a ranger station. And I don't think we have enough money for it. Yep, it's six grand. Thanks for stopping by. Mm, that's quite a scary music. Message from Doctor Wu. Wow, these guys are so cute. So what are they doing? Let's see. Whoa, they only have a lifespan of one year. That's quite short. And they're socializing. And they're in good health. That's good. What would you recommend in this situation? Cash machine. We need a weather guard just in case it rains. So our visitors won't get wet. Here they are. We have one, two, three, four. Wow. Only four visitors, huh? How can we make money? How about a Mutaborosaurus? It has a lifespan of eight months? Wow. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We need to give him a water source. The <laughs> I'm the worst park owner ever. I mean park manager. <laughs> okay, there. Message from Dr. Grant. Oh man, that's not quite enough. Okay. Alright. Welcome back. If I want to make some money, I'm going to have to sell this. Oh, and we need a cleaner station. Which costs three grand. It's going to make us bankrupt in a couple of uh, minutes. Hopefully not. Where can I place this? Maybe right over here. No. Right here.
Welcome back. Okay. Welcome back. Let's check the weather. So my plan is to make is to build the uh, the park entrances all around the sides and one in the middle. So what's the max number of uh, park entrances that we can build? Ten. Well, that's good. That is one terrifying piece of music right there. Let's let's check out some of our uh, guests. How are you today? It's okay so far. So where are the dinosaurs? Whoa! Can't you see there are viewing vents to see them? What an amazing place! Yeah, it is. This really is Jurassic Park. Yeah, it is. No doubt about it. It is Jurassic Park. Dino Nerd. This is a great park. Wow, this is a good start. But I need more money. We can't do much if we really don't have money. Man, this is gonna be a lot of waiting. Wow, how cute. Sleepy. I don't really want the kind of place the cleaner station is uh, placed at. Um, but I can't quite know where to put it. Message from the park warden's office. I wanted to put it here. But then the, the guest will walk down the path to the cleaner station. Yeah, the, yeah, the uh, artificial intelligence in this game is not that good. It's an old game, it's way back in 03 when this came out. So I can't, we can't really blame it, uh, the developers for it. We still have old school tech back in the day, right? I do want to purchase some fossils and some fossil dig teams. They just don't have the money right now. Okay, so here we get the uh, dwarf Allosaurus, Matsubarosaurus, Lealinosaurus. Site B, Huge Triptos Pondylus. What a very, very long name. Huge Triptos Pondylus. Quite a tongue twister. Claire Deering. Message from Dr. Grant. The engine board is concerned that you have not built a ranger station. Dinosaurs are very dangerous animals. You must strengthen your park security before something terrible happens. Ah, oh, finally, Amber. Yes, we have money now. Okay, so we build a way. We build a medium security fence just in case we get a bigger dinosaur. We build a ranger station now. I'll build it right over here. Oh, I know where to put the cleaner station now. We could put it right over here. And we're gonna we're gonna put a visitor shelter beside it. Those emojis are quite creepy, especially the uh, the very happy ones. <laughs> Sorry guys, have a cold. Excuse me.
Let's explore the island. Hmm, I have a plan for this. For this place. It looks nice. Could I could build a very big enclosure here and put all the herbivores in it. All kinds of herbivores. From the small ones to the gigantic ones. Welcome back. <coughs> but that's gonna consume a lot of space. But I don't really care. Wow. The mod developer is so amazing. He did a fine job. Salute to you. And if you're wondering why my structures are so different, I got it from the DJE mod. <coughs> Just like with the park entrance, as you can see, it, it really looks good. So I think I'm gonna have to end this episode right here guys, we don't have much to do here except wait and plan out things, but hey, I hope you enjoyed my very first gameplay, I mean episode <coughs> of uh, JPOG, and subscribe, leave a comment, and of course, don't forget to uh, click on the uh, notification bell so you don't miss my future uploads. So, this is Epris, signing out.